Long Beach will pay $300,000 to settle a lawsuit alleging that officers roughed up a cancer patient. Hey, sir, stop. Stop. This I will is grab actually it. my paperwork for my surgery yesterday. Okay. Wait, 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 I had yeah. surgery hey, yesterday. Be careful. Hey, okay. Give me your papers. Just let me move my papers. papers. I just had surgery. Just, just relax your hands. Don't do not You're not listening. I just had surgery. Hey, that's my paperwork. You're paper doing a lot of talking and not a lot of listening. I am. Stop. I just had a four-hour surgery, and I'm, I'm just messed up. So I'm surprised you're acting the way you are. I want to let you know you're lucky you didn't get tased. I want to let you know you're lucky you didn't get pepper sprayed or thrown to the ground. Think about that next time. I will. I thought about it. I, I thought about it. You might be going to jail now. This is from the Long Beach Post News. Long Beach officials have agreed to pay $300,000 to a man who sued, alleging he was threatened, beaten, and detained by police officers over an expired car registration in 2022. In a lawsuit filed in October, Johnny Jackson says he had just gotten out of the hospital after getting surgery to treat prostate cancer, and he had driven to Staples to make a copy of a doctor's note for his employer when the cops pulled him over on the way back to his Long Beach home. Body cam footage shows an interaction between Jackson and Long Beach police officers on the afternoon of September 3rd, 2022. The video shows an unmarked police car outside Mr. Jackson's house, and then at least three officers quickly walk up his driveway and confront him. One officer can be heard telling Jackson to stay in the car just before Jackson can be seen exiting his white car that's parked in his own driveway. Okay, well, you can see okay, in the car. Just... All right, you know what? Come over here. Come on. Yeah. Come over here. Very well. No weapon. Interlace your pinky side of the head. Okay. Is it? Interlace your fingers. Hey, sir, stop. 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 I will grab it. Actually, my paperwork for my surgery yesterday. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I had surgery hey. yesterday. Be careful. Hey. Okay. Give me your papers. Just Give let me move my paper. papers. I just had surgery. Just relax your hands. You're not listening. I just had surgery. Hey, that's my You're doing a lot of talking and not a lot of listening. I am. Stop. Just Listen to me. Put your hands behind your back. If you resist, you will get hurt. If Don't. you hurt me, I will sue you. Put your hands I just back. had I'm surgery you yesterday. Your you hurt me, oh, I will sue you. Put your Don't threaten me. Put your hands your back. Hey, Don't Johnny. Me. Johnny. Yes, sir. Can you listen to us? This guy threatened me. Okay. I will get hurt. Come over here. Johnny. Johnny, just come over here. Don't, don't force me. I just had surgery. Not so walk. I to... walk over I there. I just had surgery, sir. I'm not fucking not... Look. Let me work it. Let me. What are you doing? Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Don't Let put me... your hands behind your back and go into jail Let right me now. Put my hands behind my back. What is going on with you? No. I told the guy I just had surgery. You don't have to do it. Where'd you have surgery? Come here. Cancer. I had cancer. What is your issue? Have a seat. I just had cancer. What is your issue? It's no issue. I just want to come. What is your issue? It's no issue. Okay. Why can you not listen to anything we're saying? Why do you think you're running the show here? I'm not. You're not. That's right. I'm not. You guys are. Why did we have to get to this point? You saw us back there pulling you over. You kept driving into your driveway. Yes, sir. Why? One, my my car. Yeah. Had December tags on them. Actually, it's June. So that's why I pulled in the driveway, sir. So why are you forcing us to use force on you? Well, when when this officer threatened me that he was going. To because you're not listening. I was explaining to him. I just had surgery. That's fine. You're still not listening. I'm listening. Now you are. After we got to this point, can you turn the radio off? Why did we get to this point? His 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 aggressiveness. That's why, officer. I would just. You want still to weren't listening to me. You weren't listening to my partner there here. There was three people talking to me at the same time. No, there was not. Yes, actually, there were three people talking to him at the same time. Let's look at it again. I'm gonna speak slow. Interlace your fingers. Hey, sir, stop. Stop. This I will grab. This is actually my paperwork 
for my surgery yesterday. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I had surgery hey. yesterday. Be careful. Hey. Okay. Give me your papers. Just Give let me move my papers. papers. I just you had surgery. Just, just relax your hands. You're not listening. I just had surgery. That's my You're doing a lot of talking and not a lot of listening. I am. Stop. We each individually tried to talk some sense into you. And then my, when my paper flew down. And I caught it? Yes. Oh, yes. You, okay, you were the one. Okay. So why does it have to get to this point? It doesn't. Then why did it? Why can't you just listen to what we have to tell you? That's but you a, kept driving into your driveway. Yes, sir, I did. Why? What are you supposed to do? I was coming back home. What are you supposed to do? That's not my question. What you were supposed to do? What are you supposed to do when you get pulled over? I was supposed to pull over. Okay, what did you do? Show you guys every, all the paperwork. And what did you do? I parked in the driveway. Okay. I just had a four-hour surgery, and I'm, I'm just messed up. So I'm surprised you're acting the way you are. just want to get home, get that paperwork so I can get it to my job. And that was it, officer. And I got I'm surprised over. you got to the point where you did. If that's really the case. It was, but the threat officer wasn't necessary. What threat? The, the, the officer right here. By law? That, by law, he said he was going to hurt me. So what? Yes, by law. I threw my, I threw can you my stop, key. Johnny? Go ahead. By law, we have to tell you that we will use force on you if you're not cooperating. Mm -hmm. Actually, that is completely false. It is a violation of an individual's Fourth Amendment rights under the U.S. Constitution for police officers, agents of the government, to use violence in response to a citizen's passive resistance. In other words, verbal noncompliance or very minimal passive physical resistance. They're not allowed to just use violence against somebody because the individual didn't obey their commands. At least not under more serious circumstances, such as the guy's holding a gun or something like that and refuses the order to drop the gun. So, no. Did you know that? Well, I know one thing. Did you know that, yes or no? Yes. You did, but you're still questioning why we did that, because it's a threat, apparently. But it was just a threat. I, want, I was going to By comply law, with everything, No, officer. you weren't. Yes, I was. By law, we have to tell you we're going to use force on you. Okay. Okay, officer. I want to let you know you're lucky you didn't get tased. I want to let you know you're lucky you didn't get pepper sprayed or thrown to the ground. Think about that next time. I will. I thought about it. I, I thought about it. You might be going to jail now. The officers ultimately cited Jackson for having an expired car registration and resisting arrest, according to Mr. Jackson's lawsuit. And it also says that Jackson then checked into an emergency room for injuries suffered during this interaction with the police. Jackson's lawsuit which named the city of Long Beach and its police department as defendants, accused the officers of using excessive force, acting negligently, and violating his civil rights. The Long Beach City Attorney's Office and the Long Beach Police Department declined to comment on the allegations in the lawsuit, but on Tuesday, the city council agreed during its closed session meeting to settle this case and to pay out $300,000 to Mr. Jackson. The Long Beach Police Department declined to say whether or not the officers involved in this situation faced any disciplinary action. And we know what that means, doesn't it? No, they did not. Here, I would agree that there is an excessive force claim here because they had the legal right to perform a traffic stop. When he pulled into his driveway, they had the legal right to conduct that traffic stop in the guy's driveway. But it's the way that they performed that traffic stop. And look how they escalated the situation right from the very beginning. Three officers, one then goes off to the side as to sort of surround the guy. They were very aggressive. They were very threatening. And, you know, that's just not how you treat people in the community. And when you do, you get reactions like this. People who are immediately afraid of you. And for good reason. This police officer then tells him, look, if you don't listen to us, we are going to use violence against you. And that, as I explained, is unconstitutional. Police are allowed to use violence pretty much just like we are as citizens. It's a self-defense analysis. It's when it's objectively reasonable to use violence, which almost always is going to be to protect yourself or others from either somebody else's violence or the reasonable imminent possibility that they're going to be using violence. 
I mean, rarely are police officers allowed to use violence just to um, take somebody into custody or to force them to comply with their orders. I mean, the only exceptions being like somebody who is a dangerous fleeing felon. We're talking about a extremely minor traffic stop. You look at the gram factors. The severity of the crime at issue is very, very low. There's no immediate threat to these police officers at all. This is just one of those respect my authority or we're going to use violence against you incidents. And while they didn't tase the guy, they didn't shoot him, they didn't you know, beat on him, they did manhandle him. I think there's a very good claim there that that would fall under excessive force. Also, one thing they, they didn't sue over here that I, I believe would qualify is First Amendment retaliation because that's what they're doing is retaliating against him for you know the fear that he's expressing to these police officers. And f expressing fear is the same thing as criticizing a police officer, criticizing your government, which we have a protected First Amendment right to do. And in response to that exercise of his First Amendment right, he was retaliated against. He was put into handcuffs. He was put in the back of the police car. He was manhandled and so on. Anyways, good for this guy that he got a $300,000 settlement. But it's too bad that these cops weren't disciplined or otherwise. But spread this video, and then maybe that will end up happening. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe both here and at the blog at thecivilrightslawyer.com. Remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it. Thank <music> you.